nonprofit of software development, and yeah, lessons learned from open source. Because I think this is really what the Mozilla Science offers. It's training and mentorship around open source and how you can bring that into the rest of your research and sort of move it into open science. So we saw a few cute childhood pictures of the last time people were here at Disney. Um, this is the last time I was here. Um, <laughs> it's embarrassingly recent. <laughs> But this is me. I'm lead developer for open source engagement at the Mozilla Foundation. And our mission is to ensure the internet is a global and public resource, open and accessible to all. And I came to Mozilla because of the science lab, where they were applying Mozilla's like, grand mission to the specific community of academic research, where we're making research collaborative, accessible, and usable. And to help you sort of understand like the scope of our mission, um, I'm actually going to go through a bit of history, not too much. It's a lightning talk. <laughs> So we're going to talk about the origins of open source and Mozilla. So history of open source, back in 97, um, free software was a huge thing. There's a lot of free software going around. But Eric Raymond wrote this essay called The Cathedral in the Bazaar um, on the state of free software at the time. And he noticed two different styles of developing open software. The first was the cathedral, where there was a group of special people, no, not special, privileged people, <laughs> that would build the software and then release it afterwards. So like at a cathedral, it's technically an open space. Anyone can come in and listen to a service, but you don't really have say in what goes on there. And he compared that to a bazaar, which is a public space where anyone can just go, set up a table, sell whatever you want, barter with people. And that was really different. So he saw that happening in Linux at the time, um, where Linus Torvalds was really uh, delegating all sorts of things that you normally wouldn't see. And the community really made this happen. They were shaping what was going on at the bazaar. So this essay inspired Netscape to release the Netscape browser suite as free software the following year. And that became the basis of the Mozilla project. And it inspired the term open source. So this really is at the core of what Mozilla wants to do. We want to bring that like bazaar not bizarre, some people think it's bizarre. <laughs> this bizarre ethos to open source to academia. So we have this term um, working open that we think spans past just software development, but just how you work with people. So it's public and participatory. This requires structuring efforts so that outsiders can meaningfully participate and become insiders as appropriate. And I think this working open, we're trying to apply that to academic research. And I think this is how we're gonna get to open science. So this is our strategy. And we're working with different open source projects to help them get more working open happening. So hopefully more people will like understand how it works and do more open research. So how do we make our projects welcoming to newcomers? If only we were somewhere that was really good at being welcoming. Oh, look at that. This is another time I was at Disney. Again, embarrassingly recent. Um, this is the first time I was at Disney as an adult, actually. You can see I'm thrilled to be there. I came back though. But Disney's actually really good at welcoming people. They, they do not work open as a company. They do have a lot of secrets, so I <laughs> will admit that. But they're great. Like They have these landmarks so you know where you are. There's the castle, you know you're in Magic Kingdom. The first time you go in Magic Kingdom, they hand you maps right at the very beginning so you know where you're supposed to go. Once you go through the train station, you see Main Street USA, so you know exactly where to go leading up to the castle. And they even have other pathways. If Main Street USA is blocked, you can actually walk through all the stores on the inside, and they're actually all connected, so you can walk up there. So Disney tip if anyone's going uh, yeah, to Disney later. And that's usually a faster way to go through. So they have different pathways for people. And I think we can do that on our software. That was a bit of a stretch. But <laughs> for open source checklists, if we're trying to get more people to sort of come into your project, you need to be clear about these pathways. So this is a checklist we actually um, the minimum I require for any of our featured projects. So for each of these, we have a little exercise on how to like, make a good readme, how to make your project interesting and say what you're doing, how to write a good contributing guideline so people know where to come in and how to interact with you. So a lot of these resources are here on this URL. I'll also tweet this out. It's on GitHub. So these, um, this checklist even and these rules, we came up with that with the community collaboratively. So we welcome pull requests to this, open source. So how can you get involved? We have the Mozilla Festival coming up. We have an open science space. And we have a sprint section there. So it's four people developing open source software for scientists. It's in the UK. Um, but leading up to it, we are hoping to um, offer, yeah, we will be offering one-on-one -on -one mentorship for open source projects. We're not sure what that will look like yet. But um, it'll be similar to what Bastian went through with OpenSNP, if you heard his talk. We were working with these projects to help them grow and get more contributors. 
And another way is we have fellowships. So you can be a Mozilla Fellow for Science, and you'll work for 10 months um, at your institution and really bringing that working open ethos to your communities and running projects so that other people can be working open with you. And the deadline for that is coming up, so apply away. So thank you all, special thanks at team, and you guys are great.